Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, we'll look at what a single band compressor is in Adobe Audition and how to use it. If you're enjoying these videos, do be sure to hit the like button on this video. Also subscribe if you haven't done so already and ding the bell and that will mean you'll never miss another video from me. Uh, so here I've got a bit of audio I recorded and you can see uh, there's lots of peaks and troughs. So I'm quite loud at the start. A single band compressor will level out your voice so it sounds about the same volume all the way through. So that's exactly in a nutshell what a single band compressor does. It levels things out. You can see it's very loud here, very quiet here, quiet here, louder here, louder here. Single band compression smashes that all down and makes it sound great. And it's easy to use. I'll switch on the preview window. So you'll see up here the before and down here the after. And let's really look at what a compressor is doing. This is essentially the most pure compressor, I think, in Adobe Audition. So first of all, we have to choose threshold, the amount uh, at which the compressor starts to kick in. So if we look here, most of our peaking audio is going probably above, uh, I'd say about minus 16 dB. So let's put it around, uh, to be safe, minus 17-ish dB there, okay? And then we need to move the ratio up. So anything going above minus 17 dB needs to be pulled down by a ratio of two to one, four to one, eight to one. The higher you go, the more compression is gonna kick in. Let's go with three to one. That's usually good for dialogue to start with. And look at that already much more even. Uh, again, we can move the threshold down if we want to just make it work a bit harder and the ratio up so we get nice even voice. And there it is. Let's listen to it. A single band compressor will level out. And then without the single band compressor, a single band compressor will level out. You can hear the differences in volume. Attack and release, you can pretty much leave these as default for audio uh, that involves dialogue. So that's fine. Compression will always push the volume of the peaks down. So you need to increase the output gain to just make it a bit louder again. Look at that, looks perfect. A single band compressor will level out your voice so it sounds about the same volume all the way through. And that's really handy when you're editing podcasts. I've just applied that and you want it all at a consistent level or any kind of broadcast or jingle. Compression is definitely a must. Of course, my Adobe Audition presets use compression all the way through. And if you want to use them to speed up your podcast production or your jingle production or anything you're creating, go ahead and check them out at mrc.fm forward slash presets.